were you last night? Uh, at the movies. Oh, yeah? Which one? I forget. Oh, you forget, huh? Were you with someone? What was her name? As a matter of fact, I was with... Uh-huh, I'm never wrong. Was it anyone I know? Yes, Pedro, I... No, no. Let me guess. Hmm. It's someone I know. Was it... Pedro, this isn't a game. Oh, Miguel. You're always so serious. Relax. Now, who... Pedro. Was it the woman in the candy store? You know, the one with blonde hair. She's always smiling at you. No, Pedro, it was... Hmm. I'm usually good at these games. How about Danielle? Shut up! Okay, okay. I give up. Who is the mystery woman? Marta. Marta? Yes. Thanks for telling me. Women, what can you do? One minute she's crazy about me, and the next minute she's going out with you. I'm sorry, Pedro. It's okay. It's your turn. You're wrong. We really like each other. Good luck. Pedro, aren't you ever serious? What's happening, Tom? Man, you know that chick in the bakery? Yeah, Yolanda. No, man, not that one. Emma. Emma? Yeah, she's there on weekends. You know her. She's short. What color is her hair? It's blonde. What color are her eyes? Dark brown. Is she pretty? Yeah, she's pretty, and she's after you. Yeah? Yeah, and she's always asking me about you. How's your friend? And I say, which friend? You know, Tom, that tall, handsome guy with curly hair. And I say, oh yeah, him. Do you know her number? Yeah, 263. Wait a minute. Okay, what is it? 263-7954. Thanks, buddy. watch television. He doesn't go to the movies. He goes to the store every day. He never takes a day off. Jim, calm down. He never laughs. He never gets angry. That's the way he is, Jim. Is he happy? Is he sad? Do you know, Dad? He's your father. He doesn't think about happiness, Jim. He thinks about his family 
and his obligations. That's no way to live. Maybe not, but it's his way. All right, it's his way, but... But what? Why doesn't he like me? Why does he insult me in front of the customers? He doesn't, Jim. I don't believe it. It's true, Mom. He always says all of the customers know the prices. Why don't you? Oh, Jim, that's the way he is. Okay, but does he have to be that way all the time? We work together every day, but we never talk to each other. Either he changes or I quit. You know, Jim, you're his favorite grandchild. How do you know? He doesn't say it, but I know. I give up. Congratulations, Mr. Yamamoto. You're famous. Famous? Yes, that was a great article about you in the paper. Shh. Don't tell the vegetables. They don't know yet. What does your family think about it? They're very happy about it. It's good for business. Where's Jim today? He's at the fair. He's celebrating. What's he celebrating? My new fame and fortune. Huh. Maybe he's right. Why aren't you celebrating with him? Celebrations are for young people. Well, maybe, but all of us need a day off sometimes. Why don't you go to the fair, Mr. Yamamoto? I don't really like crowds. I can understand that, but you can go on Wednesday or Thursday. It's not so crowded then. Yes, well, maybe. It isn't a large room, and the furniture in it isn't expensive. At one end of the room, there is a small window. Next to the window is a large bed. In fact, the only large thing in the room is the bed. There are other things too. A bookcase, a small night table, a desk and chair, a dresser and clothes. There are shoes and socks under the bed, shirts, pants, and sweaters on the chair, dirty underwear and ties on the floor, suits, jackets, and a coat in the small closet. There are several cameras, five, maybe six, and photographs of women, hundreds of them, large ones and small ones, on the desk and on the walls. The photographs are smiling, laughing, crying, standing, and sitting. One thing is very clear. Pedro likes women very, very much. Pedro's mother doesn't like to go into his room. She does, of course, 
because she wants to clean. But she is not happy about it. The room is full of women. He doesn't need me, she says. his grandfather. I don't know. He never talks about his age. He's around 70, maybe 75. Years ago, he was a strong man. He was a farmer, a soldier, and a wrestler. He was the pride of his village. Now he's getting old. He doesn't see without his glasses. And he can't lift heavy things. His hair is thin and almost all white. But he has a strong face. Grandfather loves his store. He needs the store. It's his only joy. He has friends, but they are all old. Oh yes, he has us, the family. And I guess he loves us but he doesn't show it. He lives in the past. All of his friends are living in the past. At least the past can't change. They can't take it away from you. It's always there, and you can close your eyes and see it. Grandma was a kind, lovely lady, and Grandfather's world is not the same without her. Pedro is attractive, there's no doubt about it. Women are crazy about him, but he's spoiled. I don't like that. It's not right to break a date, but it's funny. I don't feel bad about it. I'm sure he breaks dates with women all the time. That's the way he is. Why did I want to go to the party with him? Why not? Why did I change my mind? A feeling. That's not an answer, I know. But my feeling was right. I didn't really want to go out with him. He didn't really care about me. I was only a date for the evening. All right, it wasn't nice. But he certainly didn't die of a broken heart. Didn't he go to the party anyway? Yes, I think he did. I'm sure he did. Miguel is different. He is serious and considerate, but he's young and he doesn't know the ways of the world. And he's going home soon. Oh well. He isn't very handsome, but he has a beautiful smile. Mama, the Crawfords are coming to dinner next Wednesday. Mr. Crawford, isn't he one of Paolo's business acquaintances? Yes. I see. When are they coming? Next Wednesday, the 19th. How many people are there going to be? Six in all, Mr. and Mrs. Crawford, Michael, Paolo, you, and me. What are you going to serve? I'm not sure. Do they like Brazilian food? I don't know. We could make feijoada. Everyone likes that. I suppose so. What do you think? It isn't very fancy. Well, they're your guests. You decide. You're right. Feijoada it is.
tell me about Michael. Well, he's very tall and handsome. He has big blue eyes, long blonde hair. Oh, how long? Down to his shoulders. It's beautiful, like gold. What does he do, dear? He does many things. He's very creative. He's a great painter, really. He also gives free English lessons to the people in his neighborhood. I see. You're going to like him. Everybody does. Where does he live? He has a small apartment on 88th Street. A small apartment on 88th Street? Don't worry, Mama. I'm not going to marry him tomorrow. Call. This Friday night? What a good idea! Yes, I'm sure Paulo could come. He doesn't work Friday nights. Can I help? I could bake a cake. Don't be silly. I like to bake, and I love parties. Can I see some of your paintings? Yes, really. I paint too. I never talk about it. I'm not very good. In fact, my paintings are pretty bad. No, I don't have any with me. They're all home in Brazil. Oh, really? Perhaps some afternoon I could go to art class with you. Fine. See you Friday then. Friday at 8.30. Thank you. Good night. Good morning, sir. May I help you? It's our anniversary today. I'm looking for the same flowers as the ones in her wedding bouquet. What do they look like? White. They're white. How tall are they? They're short, I guess. About the same height as those short flowers over there. Do they look like roses? No, they look like little bells. Oh, lilies of the valley. No, I'm sorry. We're out of them at the moment. Oh, that's too bad. What about roses? Okay, how many do you suggest? As many as you like, sir. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes, they are. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Susie. What a nice surprise. Hi, Mom. We're on our way home from school. Excuse me a minute, girls. Jane, can you take care of this gentleman? Now, how was school today? The same as always. Oh, there's one thing. Oh? Jack was in a big fight. Is he all right? I think so, but he's in the principal's office. Oh, no. 
Why are Billy and Jack so different from each other? I don't know, dear. I really don't. When are you coming home, Mom? It's Friday. The store is open until nine o'clock tonight. Gee, you're as bad as Dad. What do you mean, dear? You're never home either. Of course, sir. We send flowers anywhere in the country. Well, tulips are very pretty. They look like, uh, well, cups. Oh, she likes roses. Then send her roses. No, in fact, tulips aren't as expensive as roses this year. Fine. How many tulips do you want to order? Certainly. For ten dollars, I can send sixteen. Yes, we usually include a short note with the flowers. To mom. Happy birthday. Yes, that's fine. Your mother's name and address, please. Mrs. G. Crawford, one forty-three twenty-nine Park Avenue. Is that C R A W F O R D? Thank you. And your name and address, please. Michael Crawford, three forty-two, eighty-eighth Street. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, sir. Good morning, sir. May I help you? It's our anniversary today. I'm looking for the same flowers as the ones in her wedding bouquet. What do they look like? White. They're white. How tall are they? They're short, I guess. About the same height as those short flowers over there. Do they look like roses? No, they look like little bells. Oh, lilies of the valley. No, I'm sorry. We're out of them at the moment. Oh, that's too bad. What about roses? Okay. How many do you suggest? As many as you like, sir. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes, they are. Hi Peggy. Hi Susie. What a nice surprise. Hi Mom. We're on our way home from school. Excuse me a minute, girls. Jane, can you take care of this gentleman? Wow. How was school today? The same as always. Oh, there's one thing. Oh. Jack was in a big fight. Is he all right? 
I think so, but he's in the principal's office. Oh, no. Why are Billy and Jack so different from each other? I don't know, dear. I really don't. When are you coming home, Mom? It's Friday. The store is open until 9 o'clock tonight. Gee, you're as bad as Dad. What do you mean, dear? You're never home either. Of course, sir. We send flowers anywhere in the country. Well, tulips are very pretty. They look like, uh, well, cups. Oh, she likes roses. Then send her roses. No, in fact, tulips aren't as expensive as roses this year. Fine. How many tulips do you want to order? Certainly. For $10, I can send 16. Yes, we usually include a short note with the flowers. To Mom. Happy Birthday. Yes, that's fine. Your mother's name and address, please. Mrs. G. Crawford. 143-29 Park Avenue. Is that C-R-A-W-F-O-R-D? Thank you. And your name and address, please? Michael Crawford, 342 88th Street. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, sir. Hi, Ellie. Where are your parents today? They're eating in the Italian restaurant again. I like hot dogs more than spaghetti. And ice cream is the most delicious thing in the world. It's not fair. What isn't fair, Ellie? They can eat as much spaghetti as they want. But I can't eat as many hot dogs and ice cream sandwiches as I want. Do you have children? I have two boys and two girls, but they are all older than you. How old are the boys? The junior, the oldest, is 17. Jack is 16. Do they play baseball? They sure do. Do you play baseball? Not yet, but I'm going to learn soon. I'm almost seven years old. Ali! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Is my son bothering you again? Not at all. He's a fine boy. Thank you, mister. O'Neill. Father, Mr. O'Neill's sons play baseball. That's nice, Ali. I want to learn too, but nobody wants to teach me. You're too young, Ali. You always say that. 
I'm pretty big for my age. Excuse me, there's a big crowd over there. Business before pleasure. Certainly. Goodbye, Mr. O'Neill. Bye, Allie. See you soon. You know, Father, he isn't really an ice cream man. He's just pretending. He's really a secret agent. What an imagination you have, Ali. More imagination than sense. Don't spoil it for him, dear. Childhood is the happiest time of life. It's Saturday night. Yes, I know. But we never see each other these days. The children never see you either. And what about dinner? It's almost ready. I know. That's the way it is. I'm just disappointed. Around nine o'clock? Well, okay. Wait. Why don't you let me type your report? Then you could come home now. No, we don't need any. We have lots of paper at home. Okay, good. See you around 8.15. Bye, dear. Mr. Gorup, step into my office, please. Bring your steno pad. Yes, sir. To Mr. James C. Wilson, President, United Printing Corporation. You can look up the address in the files. Yes, sir. Dear sir, place in this office 10,000 copies of the World's Fair brochure. Thank you, sincerely. And sign my name. Yes, sir. Send that out this morning, Miss Segura. Yes, sir. It's Mrs. Crawford's birthday. I want to buy her some flowers. Call up the florist and tell him to send my wife a dozen roses. Yes, sir. Mr. Segura, here is yesterday's letter to Bissell Industries. There is an error in the second paragraph. Please be more careful, Ms. Segura. Yes, sir. Any questions? Only one. Yes. When do you want to look for a new secretary? 
I don't understand, Mr. Gura. We don't need another secretary. I'm giving you two weeks' notice, Mr. Crawford. Are you resigning from the firm, Mr. Gura? Yes, Mr. Crawford. I'm sure you can find someone better than I. Very well, Mr. Gura. Put an ad for our secretary in tomorrow's paper. Yes, Mr. Crawford. This is very inconvenient. I'm sure it is. Can I help you? Yes, I want to paint my son's bedroom. I think sky blue is a pretty color. How big is the room? Not very big. How many gallons of paint do you want? I don't know. Look, why don't you tell your painter to buy the paint? I am the painter. Well then, do you know the size of the room? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Is it larger or smaller than this store? It's about half the size of this store. You need two gallons. Now what do I do? Madam, why don't you get a painter? My son and I want to paint the room together. All right. Here, read these instructions. Do you want the paint now? Yes, please. Two gallons of sky blue. That's twenty-one thirty-nine. Thank you. What time do you close? We're open till six thirty tonight. Going to do? Could I be his wife? How long could I live in a little apartment on a poor street? He's an artist. He doesn't think about money, but I do. I like life's little luxuries. I like to buy pretty things, new dresses and jewelry. I could live without them, I guess, but. Do I want to? I guess I could always find a job. I could work in an office, or I could teach Portuguese. Or could I? Maybe Mama is right. Maybe I couldn't live on 88th Street. It's a long way from home in Brazil. Paula wants to stay here, but Mama is going to go home soon. She misses Papa and her life there. And what about me? We could live six months here and six months there. No, that's ridiculous. What am I going to do? I love his eyes. Who knows? We all grow and change. Anything could happen. It's not easy to be the mother of four children, take care of a house, and go to work. I'm not complaining, though. Really, I'm not. Bill has a good job, and he always works overtime to make as much as he can. But we can always use some extra money. Four children eat a lot of food. I didn't go to college. What could I do? I was a mother at 19. I didn't see much of the world then. The children are all in school now, and I want to do something new. I'm not old yet. I want to live and learn and grow as much as I can. This is my first job in 18 years, and I love it. I love to work with flowers. I want to learn about the business too. Someday I'm going to own a shop like this one.
You know my brother Ali, but you don't know me. I am Hussein M. Nixid. I'm nine and a half. I am very strong for my age, and I'm very smart in school. All my teachers say so. I do my homework, and I pay attention to my teachers. I like books. I read all the time. I can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. I can read and write English and Farsi. And I know all about the heroes of my country. I am going to be famous too. I am going to build cities and roads and bridges and everything. Ali is a strange kid. He thinks everyone is a Martian and ice cream vendors are secret agents. Why does he eat ice cream all the time? Sometimes I think father is right. Ali acts like a child all the time. He never could sit still. He doesn't listen to anyone. He's forgetting Farsi too. What is he going to do next year in Iran? Ali hates me. It's not my fault. He hates me because I'm bigger and smarter, and I'm father's favorite. Father doesn't say that, of course, but I know it. And Ali knows it too. But Ali's okay, really. Sure, sometimes he does crazy things, but he's not a bad kid. <laughs>